Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. I didn't want to die. I didn't want to be taken from the city so my family couldn't find me. I just wanted to live. Definitely changes your, suspect, your uh, peripheral on like, life. Oh, I remember lots. Just fighting and trying to stay alive. We're talking this woman was fighting for her life for 45 minutes. And she now wants to, to uh, you know, get some justice out of this. She wants to identify, see if we can identify this guy who attacked her because she knows how important it is that this, there could be another victim if we don't do all we can in this file. In cases like this, people do remember and will remember that night. Um, and we remember this guy from the area. This is not a, a happenstance other than the fact that the victim was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But quite frankly, this guy was out looking for a victim that night. If it wouldn't have been this victim, it might have been another. The offender also left his belt at the scene, uh, the knife that he used to stab the victim in his bike. And because of that, we believe that the offender did live in the area at the time of the attack. Because I want to get the word out. I want to catch this guy so I can get back to my life. This person lived in the midst of this area. This is a hardworking community. More often than not, they look out for each other. And I think that uh, given these circumstances, again, just to sit back now and review what, what, what happened in the past uh, might help us in the future. He was a male, 18 to 20 years of age, a uh, native male, 5'7 to 5'9, 150 to 160 pounds. He was seen wearing a black dress shirt, uh, a Gucci belt. He comes off as fairly clean cut. He was clean shaven, short hair, um, uh, just like I say, average build. Um, and from that description, I mean, you know, would he have been known in the area? Probably. Uh